computer is going to do the occasional weather report action. Plus 5 Celsius, about 40 Fahrenheit. And pouring rain. Oh. The game was in the UK using his head at the soccer match. Big edition of Album Battle. Number two, I did ACDC Powerage versus Let There Be Rock. Now tackling this. Going into it, I predicted that I would say In Rock would win. And without further ado, let's start out with In Rock. It was the first album it was out before Machine Head. So that's probably my favorite intro for any studio album in rock history. About the copyright, but this is how you start a concert. I have to keep interrupting because of copyright, but yeah, considering Purple's first three albums were nothing like this. <laughs> Anyway, this is the first song, first side, Speed King. This was an easy 10 out of 10 for me. <laughs> Without doubt. This kind of the generic budget release. I think there's even more generic than this, but at least this has... Uh, doesn't have the gatefold like the vinyl does. But a bit of a write-up there anyway. And... Anyway, this is where it kicks in. Uh, you had to buy 24 karat purple to get that intro. Because in Canada, they cut out that intro. Started right about here for Canadians. But anyway, here we go. Speed King. Yeah, one of the best songs in rock history. You all know that one. Let's go to track two. Bloodsucker. Now, this is where I get into the medium part. Ah, uh, here we go. Here's Bloodsucker. Now, going into this, I rated these medium songs to me way lower. Like, I had them about a 4.5. Like, just below a pass. Because they just don't... They pale in comparison, but it's still heavy. Like... Gillen's vocals are good on here. And there's some good guitaring. I, I gave this a 7.5 now. I gave it a pass and so let's try the next song. Oh, y'all know the next song. You'd think I'd give this an automatic 10, but I don't. Because I always skip the slow part at the start. Especially knowing that my favorite guitar solo studio by Blackmore is this song, Child in Time. Here's a bit 
get it a solo. I did my radio show. It's still on, too. Actually, I replays in the middle of the night, but I played about four different versions of Child in Time, the guitar solo live, different live versions, and someone thought that was really stupid, but I thought it was the greatest. <laughs> but anyway, I gave Child in Time an 8.5 because I have I fast-forward through the part, but this part's at like a 100 out of 10. But anyway, let's move on. Then comes an automatic 10 out of 10. Nobody's agreed with me yet, but I say that this song's better than any Led Zeppelin song ever made. Poor Led Zeppelin, A Poor Man's Deep Purple. But Flight of the Rat, first song, side two. It's like seven minutes long. Ah, oh, come on. Here we go. This has everything you want in a song. Really heavy rock and rhythm. Like his guitar tone, apparently they had it redlining. Like he wanted it just to sound really distorted in that. And to me, this is his favorite, my favorite guitar tone of his on any studio album. And John Lord smokes in this. He's like. I can't play the whole song, but it's got the drum part in here, which I missed. But anyway, now here's one of these more medium songs that I rate a notch below. I listen into the fire. Um, the guitar tone in this is really distorted, like it's just heavy, like. Sort of still have their 60s hairdos. Uh... Then after Into the Fire, oh, what did I rate uh, Into the Fire? I bumped it for like 4.5 to 7.5. Then Living Wreck is next. It's this little wing 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 part I didn't care for, but this is more slower. But still heavy. Like. In the interest of time, that's all I'll play that. Um, then we go to our 10, 10 out of 10 again. Like I've heard Metal Ron say more than once about this album, like this is like the start of the galloping uh, Iron Maiden, new wave of traditional heavy metal. I first heard Machine Head before I heard In Rock. I heard In Rock like later on. And when I heard the rhythm part coming up on uh, Hard Love of Man, I was just blown away. Perfect look of the Moody Blackmore. But just the first few seconds of this. Here we go. Then Roger Glover kicks in. Then the... Got the goosebumps! Get into the But the, the ending's just so deadly. This is a studio album. But Blackmore just uh 
goes for it. Last song, last part of the last song. Oh, but I'm not allowed to play it. I wish I could play it all, but... And it does the old left speaker, right speaker game. Then the whole band kicks back in. The song's not over yet. <laughs> oh, I got rock and roll goosebumps again. Like this. Well, anyway, you get the idea. I got to play Machine Head to fit this in. Uh, <laughs> I was hoping to make this quick, but... Uh, I'll let you know the final standings after... Um, but for Machine Head, you all know Highway Star. Don't I even need to play that? So I gave that an easy 10 out of 10. There's no problem with that. But then it gets into the next song. Yeah, maybe I'm a Leo. There's another one I sort of thought I was going to give a 4.5 type thing, but... Now sitting listening to it, concentrating, I gave it... I bumped it way up to... Uh, well, 7.0. Oh, here's Highway Star in case you're a newbie, but uh, just a second of it. Okay, y'all know that song. I gave this a 7. Then it moved on to Pictures of Home, which I, again, was going to give it like a 4 or 5, but... There's some great guitaring in here. It's a pretty long song, too. Um. Yeah, so I gave it an 8, because there's a few guitar breaks in here that are really good. Um. Then Never Before, which uh, Deep Purple was thinking for sure was going to be their single for this album, not Smoke on the Water, but it turned out good. It just did, wasn't it, but... And there's some good guitaring on here. It's more of a happier song, like 7.5 I gave it. And the last side two, la the last three songs I gave tens across the board. You know, Smoke on the Water. Lazy I gave a 10. Just has the slow part, but then it Joe Bon and Massa, or however you say it, does an unreal new updated version of this on the remachined tribute to machine head i think 40th anniversary but and the last song gets a 10 easy so anyway a uh, space trucking but anyway the final score was 61 oh geez i'm gonna have to pause this and average it out okay 61 for in rock but a 62.5 for machine head now what does it average out to Got to find out. That's the key per song average. Because there's different number of songs. Yeah, of course I was wrong. There is seven, Both had seven songs. So there you go. In Rock 61.0. Machine Head 62.5. And I walked into this thinking I would take In Rock. I'd still say Flight of the Rats the best song out of both albums. But anyway, I guess that's it. So, uh... The next one I'm going to do is either Black Sabbath Mob Rules versus Heaven and Hell or Scorpions Love Drive versus Animal Magnetism. Hey, <laughs> always wondered what I would give uh, verdicts to, which albums I like better. So it's a fun way to find out and rediscover these songs. Hey, thanks for listening. Don't forget solar traffic. <laughs> Keep left or right, right, Cloudy. Black more rules.